Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a huge Sephora haul. These are all of the items that I bought from my recent trip to Malaysia and Bali. I got all of these from the Malaysia Sephora stores. Same stores because I went to two different um, outlets of Sephora in Malaysia, um, Kuala Lumpur itself. I particularly stayed in Malaysia just for my Sephora shopping itself. We didn't do much apart from just shopping. I already had this plan to get some high-end makeup products from Sephora in Malaysia. So I saved up quite a bit of money before going there. I've got a huge bag full of high-end makeup products from Sephora. And also in the Sephora store in Malaysia, you also get an additional 5% off if you're a tourist. So like I mentioned, I went on two different days uh, to two different stores, right? So I got 5% off on my entire bill on both the days in both the stores. And not only that, I also got this power bank as a freebie which came in super super handy uh, for my Bali trip which I had ahead of me. I used this particular power bank through my entire trip to charge my cell phone and also on both the days I received this kind of like a pouch bag I would say. Yeah it's like a pretty decent pouch bag sling attached to it so I got two of these from both the days. So yeah, these are the freebies that I got from the Sephora haul that I did. So anyway, I've got some really, really exciting makeup products to show you guys. I want most of them on my face right now and my makeup looks really beautiful and amazing today. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. So when I made my plan to buy from uh, Sephora Malaysia, I definitely wanted to buy a lot of items from Rare Beauty and Fenty Beauty. I've already used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation earlier and it is completely over. That was my wedding foundation if you have watched my wedding makeup tutorial on my channel. If you want to watch it, I'll put it on the cards right up on the screen on, I don't know which side it is, put it right up there. But yeah, I just love that foundation. If you have an oily skin type, that is the best foundation to use to um, get a very, very long lasting finish. So here is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is called their Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and my shade is 370, which is a great match on me by the way. It may look lighter in the bottle, but it does oxidize quite a bit. So keep that in mind if you're gonna pick this up for yourself as well. Let me quickly just swatch the foundation. So here is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 370. It looks very light right now also because I have a lot of tan going on from my vacation. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind but it definitely does oxidize quite a bit. An extremely, extremely long lasting heat proof, sun proof, sweat proof, whatever proof you want to call it. This foundation lasts through a hurricane if you have an oily skin type. I also got the same foundation for my sister as well because she also has an oily skin type. From Fenty Beauty, I also picked up their Truly Matte Primer. This is how the packaging looks like. Very similar to their foundation. It's just that it has a little bit of a pastely pink cap and the bottle is completely see-through and the primer is in like a milky white color. I already used this primer once during my vacation and I really really liked it. Again this is a mattifying primer so only consider if you have an oily skin type. Just like the foundation the primer is also very 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 matte and controls your oil and makes your makeup last pretty pretty long. So that's how the primer looks like. Like I said it's like a milky white Primer feels very very soft and liquidy and just blends into nothing. It doesn't have any tint whatsoever and it just dries very quickly as well and sets to a very very matte finish. After it is dry, it feels very soft and velvety smooth on the skin so that your foundation on top blends nicely as well. I wanted to pick up the Fenty Beauty concealers as well as their stick um, contour and everything but all of those items were out of stock and I couldn't buy them. I went to two stores and both of the stores did not have stock which was very very sad. So then I spotted these uh, powder bronzers. Look at the packaging. It is so so beautiful. It's just so classy to look at. Look at that. It's a beautiful golden bronzy kind of a packaging. 
and inside you've got the bronzer and a huge huge mirror and this shade is called caramel cutie and the number is 06 honestly this does remind me a lot of my benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer. It has a very very similar tone. It is warm but it's not orangey. That is very very important in a bronzer because orangey bronzers can make you look super muddy. Uh, so this kind of a beautiful bronzy tone makes you look really pretty as well. It's not a super intense bronzer right now with my tan going on but I'm sure once my tan is off um, this will be a perfect perfect bronzer shade for me and also it looks a little lighter in the pan let me just swatch it on my hand so here is the swatch I'm not sure if you can see but it's likely a darker shade of um, bronzer it's a very 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 finely milled bronzer feels velvety smooth when you touch it with a brush and put it on your skin it just blends like a dream on the skin even though it's a powder so that way it's an amazing amazing bronzer i also picked up a highlighter from fenty beauty and just look at this packaging it's like glistening diamonds in a packaging it's so so beautiful so this is their diamond bomb highlighter as well and the shade is rose red it's a beautiful Kind of like a duochrome um, glittery highlighter. It's not a very finely milled highlighter. Let me warn you about that. It definitely glistens and the shimmer particles does show up on the skin. So yeah, the shade Rose Rave is like a golden and rosy tone mixed in together. It has a beautiful pink and gold shift when you turn it like this. Also on the skin as well, it has a pink and gold shift. This is what I have on the tops of my cheekbones as a highlighter. This is not your everyday highlighter, you guys. This is a party glam kind of a highlighter because um, like I said, the shimmer particles definitely glisten on the skin. But saying that, when I freshly applied it, it looked like um, the glitter is sitting on top of the skin. But as the time is passing, the glitter is kind of melting down with my skin and looks like a part of the skin which is really really beautiful and also this highlighter is gonna be amazing to highlight your body just added a tiny bit on my collarbones and it looks really really beautiful i wore it a lot during my holiday as well as a body highlighter and it looked absolutely pretty and when it just hits the sun it looks very very beautiful and glistening on the body also this highlighter really reminds me of rihanna i recall rihanna's face um, using this kind of a glistening shimmery kind of a highlighter most of the time on her makeup looks and it looks absolutely beautiful it's kind of like a bolder experimental highlighter it's not for everyone but i do really like it a lot texture is a very unique kind of a texture when you touch it it's like a balm cushiony texture it kind of turns into a powder once you put it on the skin the texture and finish of these highlighters really remind me of the mac glow clay blushes they also have a very very similar uh, kind of like a wet cushiony feel when you touch them and once you put it on the skin they kind of melt into the skin so beautifully and turns into a velvety smooth powder so this is very similar to that i also picked up a lip product from fenty beauty which is their uh, diamond bomb lip gloss sorry this is their gloss bomb lip gloss and this is in the shade fenty glow and the number is 01 i also definitely wanted to pick up a bunch of these tana lip tints but None of these Tana lip paints were available um, in both the Sephora stores which was very very heartbreaking because I was really really looking forward to buy the liquid lipsticks from Fenty Beauty but unfortunately there were no stock. But I also was looking forward to buy the glosses so I picked up this shade uh, Fenty Glow like I mentioned and it's a beautiful neutral peachy gloss love the packaging by the way all of the fenty beauty packaging is so classy and so beautiful it looks like this it's a pretty thick wand and fits your lips so beautifully and perfect for your gloss application so it's not got a lot of color in my opinion it's just a really pale peachy tint and this one has a lot of shimmery glitter particles but once you apply it on the lips it doesn't look like a shimmery lip gloss it kind of melts in uh, with the gloss and your lip it looks very juicy and pouty and plump 
and the finish of these lip glosses are high 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 in shine um, this is what I have on my lips right now as you can see it is super 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 glossy it's a thicker formula so it doesn't bleed um, from the corner of your lips and though it's a thicker formula it doesn't feel very heavy on the lips it's got a very very mild fruity fragrance as well I really don't know how to describe it but definitely there is a slight fruity fragrance in it here is the Fenty lip gloss as you can see there is no such um, strong color it's a very very soft peachy tint let me swatch the highlighter as well so that's the highlighter it's so silky to touch and it looks like this it's a gorgeous shimmery duochrome highlight then i wanted to pick up a bunch of rare beauty products as well but some of the products that i really wanted to pick up for example their liquid touch foundation i think it's called that was completely out of stock and the liquid highlighter was out of stock the liquid blusher was out of stock all these items were there on my wish list so i was a little bit sad i did pick up some of their items which is their liquid what is this so i picked up the liquid touch concealer in two different shades look at how cute the packaging is it's got a white lid and it's a see-through glass bottle and inside got a nice thick no foot applicator it's very very beautiful and classy looking the first shade that i picked up is 380w which is the lighter shade and the darker shade is 500n this one i got for my liquid and cream contouring so this concealer is like a little bit of a thicker formula this is what i have on my under eyes right now it's very easy to blend um, even though it's a thicker formula let me just swatch it somewhere so this is 380W. This is not very very light shade of a concealer on me. It's slightly lighter. So it's perfect for a natural highlighted effect on my face. Um, so yeah, just a little touch of this concealer goes a long long way because it's got some high coverage in it and blends very nicely and seamlessly on the skin and lasts pretty well on the skin as well. And here is the shade 500N. This is like a dark chocolatey kind of a shade even though the darker shade falls in the category of neutral it is pretty warm on my skin so it is perfect to give my face that slight bronzy and golden goddess kind of a effect i love that effect by the way uh, i do not like a lot of cool tone products to contour and chisel my face i definitely prefer a warmer tone when compared to cool tone products to chisel and contour my face so from rare beauty again a lot of their liquid lipsticks were out of stock only the bullet lipsticks were in stock same with the Fenty Beauty uh, counter as well I did not want to invest in bullet lipsticks I want to get um, some really nice liquid lipsticks so uh, this one was in stock and I really liked it it's a very very unique color from rare beauty this is their this is the rare beauty matte lip cream in the shade inspire which is a very popular shade I've seen this color on many many western youtubers and influencers and it looks amazing it's like a very hot neon red color so this is the packaging which uh, translates the color of the lipstick from inside and here is the wand and let me just swatch it here so, so that's how the shade inspire looks like it's a hot um, neon orangey color very very unique kind of a color i've not seen such kind of a hot neon color anywhere but the formula feels very moussey so far. I've not used it yet so I can. So yeah, the shade Inspire is a beautiful hot neon orangey red like I mentioned. I'm yet to wear this shade so I'm yet to form my opinion about this product. I also picked up two eye makeup products from Rare Beauty which is their uh, pen type eyeliner. This is called their Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Eyeliner and this is also waterproof. So it literally looks like a pen. The packaging is so so cute. And inside you've got the pen eyeliner which looks like this it's a fat um, felt tip eyeliner the felt tip is made up of brushes it's not a stiff um, sketchy kind of a eyeliner I love these kind of brush stroke um, liquid eyeliners in a pen type and this one is a really, really thick one so it really gives you that bold thick liner according to your liking this is what I have on my eyes right now um, I wasn't intending to buy this one but the uh, salesperson that was there in the Sephora counter was like um, just check it out 
So I just swatched it a little bit on the back of my hand and it was the blackest black eyeliner and I had to pick it up so that's the reason I got this one. It's a very very fluid kind of an eyeliner. It's completely jet black and this is not going to give you the thinnest of thinnest um, eyeliners. It is meant to give you that thick bold eyeliner meant to create winged eyeliners. So yeah that's that. I also got the Rare Beauty mascara. It's a big fat mascara. It's in a pastely peach matte packaging and inside the mascara wand is like a i would say this is more on the thicker wand size um so i applied this mascara to my eyelashes and i absolutely fell in love with it the color is a jet black color and adds so much of volume and definition to my lashes and this is a brand new mascara and even now this is able to give me so much of volume to my lashes so i can imagine after a week or so this is gonna add so much of drama and volume to my eyelashes so i'm really looking forward to use more of this mascara right now i've got my false eyelashes on but you'll see in the clip by what i mean really 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 enjoyed using this mascara i also picked up a few items from kvd which is cat von d a super popular brand in the west and i really want to pick up their good apple foundation which comes in a compact like packaging but unfortunately the shade that matched me was again out of stock so yeah <laughs> so i picked up some other items from the same counter which i found really interesting and would work on my skin tone and the first one is this beautiful looking powder blusher so this is called their blush everlasting blush and this is in the shade snapdragon just look at the packaging it is so gorgeous it's like a black rose kind of a packaging and you can see the blusher color from the center and inside you've got the powder blusher it's like a beautiful muted plum toned color and oh my god this is so so beautiful um it's kind of like the k beauty blusher but a better better formulation very 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 extremely silky soft in texture and it is extremely pigmented as well and when you put it on the skin obviously it comes out as pigmented as it is in the pan and um, though it is pigmented you can kind of blend it out um, to shear it down and also this blusher lasts through the entire day um, in all the humidity and heat generally powder blushes kind of fade away during the day but this one doesn't this just stays put and stays intact and in place this shade snapdragon is a beautiful beautiful shade for dusky skin tones i'm absolutely loving it you put this on the skin it just blends like a dream it is just so effortless to blend i love this blusher i wish i picked out another shade in the same blusher range because it is so so good so let me just swatch the blusher here so that's the KVD blush in the shade Snapdragon. Look at the pigment that is there on the blush. It is still there on my fingers. It is very, very well pigmented. Oh yeah, and also this is a completely matte finish blusher. It doesn't have any shimmer particles whatsoever. Then I picked up their uber famous everlasting liquid lipstick. And this is not the shade Lolita. This is the shade called Hawkwind, which is a beautiful deep um nude color for deeper skin tones this is what i have underneath the lip gloss that i have today um of course because of the lip gloss the lip color is looking glossy but let me just swatch it here it's a gorgeous gorgeous neutral mauvey brown kind of a color and looks amazing on dusky skin tone it's a gorgeous gorgeous formulation feels super comfortable on the lips and very very long lasting and it's a completely matte finish shade lolita is very very popular and they had the shade lolita 2 as well but again it was out of stock and the shade lolita 2 was slightly lighter for my liking and for my complexion and i found this shade hawk went to be a better nude color for myself so i got another liquid lipstick from cat von d which is their everlasting hyper light liquid lipstick so i think it's like a upgraded version of the everlasting matte liquid lipstick the packaging is slightly different as well and this is in the shade midnight flocks the number is 68 it's like this very very deep 
brown liquid lipstick with a hint of red to it and the formula also feels slightly different than their original everlasting liquid lipstick i've not used this yet um, but i will definitely try to use this in some of my tutorials or something like that this is extremely extremely pigmented than the original everlasting matte liquid lipstick as you can see within just a single swipe it is so well pigmented and rich i also picked up the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder which is loved by many 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 professional makeup artists and other western youtubers as well seen and heard a lot of good things about this particular powder so i definitely wanted to pick this one this is also available in different shades as well but i particularly picked up the translucent one because this can work on any skin tone. I can use it also on my clients. So that's the reason I picked out the translucent version. And this is what I have on my skin right now. And when I put this powder onto my skin, it felt so dreamy, so silky, extremely, extremely finely mid on the skin. And because it's a translucent color, this kind of mimics the color of your base product that is underneath this product. It is so, so good. I absolutely love my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder and this one and the Huda Beauty uh, Loose Powders are always, always compared. And I think I'm going to love the Laura Mercier Powder very, very soon because I absolutely loved it. The way it felt on my skin is slightly more even finely mid than the Huda Beauty loose powder um, and the Huda Beauty one has a little bit of coverage in it this one doesn't it has absolutely no coverage it is translucent absolutely colorless and translucent and very very lightweight on the skin as well so I really liked it um, immediately when I put this on my skin so let's see how I like it further